Casa Viva is a, is a social center. It's an alternative space in Porto. It already exists like five and a half years. And um, it's, it's sort of an open space where people can come to organize uh, activities that are a bit uh, counter-cultural activities. So not, not mainstream and not uh, uh, for economical gain. The things that happen here are like uh, sometimes uh, debates or uh, cinema or there is uh, lots of concerts, almost every week there is concerts. We have also a, a band that is playing, uh, it's, it's called the Rhythms of Resistance, that is uh, like an activist samba band that is doing rehearsals here also. We have a, a computer space so you can use the uh, internet here once a week. A radio being made, like a program made by people that are part of the collective. But there was always a, a bike workshop and it's like a group of people that, uh, that come together to, to repair bikes. We don't want to be another cafe or another uh, commercial place. Uh, it is really the idea is more to come together and to share your knowledge and your experiences. Uh, with the concerts that we make we, we earn some money to pay the electricity and the water. And uh, that's uh, the main cost we have. So, uh, Sometimes we are a bit poor. <laughs> it really depends on our luck in recycling. I think it was around uh, one and a half year ago that I, uh, I came to Portugal and, uh, and I met a friend um, that was already making bread. Like, uh, she has also a grandma that uh, makes bread uh, in, in forno, uh, in a wood oven. On my trip I came by bike to, to Portugal. And, uh, and on my trip I met some people that were also baking bread and they had a, a natural yeast. Uh, so I asked uh, if I could bring uh, some of that and, uh, and on my way I made also once a week I made the bread and, uh, and traveled further. And we started to make also weekly bread here. And then we also started to open up the, the work a bit because we had more and more plans that we wanted to make more bread and to have also a bit of bread to give away or to, to give for, or sell for like a donation to, to other people so that we could again buy ingredients and, uh, and so to, to sustain the project a bit uh, by, by itself. So yeah, the people that, that do the work, they, they get the bread and other people that don't do the work, they can buy a bread. This is a, a communal garden here in the, in the city center of Porto. It, it's behind a, a center that is called uh, Muses. That is uh, like officially it was an association of sports, but it grew out to be more uh, a political and social meeting place. Using abandoned spaces to make uh, gardens in the middle of the city is a really important thing is that uh, most of our food is just coming from really far away and uh, we just go to the supermarket, we don't know where it comes from, but how it is produced and transported and, uh, and many of the ingredients we don't even know and plus that it's all packed in plastic and I don't know, it's just, it's just so insane uh, that I think it's, it is really important that we also see that we can produce our own food just next, next to our own houses almost and especially in Porto there is many many abandoned terrains. We made the plan to, to occupy a, a building here in a, in, a, in a neighborhood, in a poor neighborhood in, in Porto and uh, we found a, a school building that was uh, already abandoned for like five years. Uh, we wanted to make it really a public action and uh, not just go there and then sit there quietly and make it uh, a closed, isolated group uh, of freaks uh, uh, taking, <laughs> taking a building, but really do it together with the people and then from there uh, start it as a, as a real social center and a meeting place. After the school, normal schools close, this school sort of opens. A lot of the activities are for the children that, uh, that come from the schools and that they need maybe some help with their homeworks or they want to have uh, guitar lessons. Um, there is uh, also like possibility to, to play football and basketball. So there is a big yard to, to play. There is a, a kitchen uh, and a canteen so that uh, people that come, they can eat something or make some food. Once a week there is at least a, a group 
taking care of uh, a big meal for everyone to, to come and, and to eat together. And now it's around half a year or so that it exists and what you can see is that there's a growing group of people uh, coming to the project and in the last weekend I, I was there, it was like more than 50 people come to eat. Uh, and, and take part in activities, so it is quite clear that there is uh, a big need for people to, to have spaces to come together and, um, and, and get to know each other and uh, show some kind of solidarity among each other because it's a really poor area and people are really trying to survive uh, all in an isolated way. Together you can reach much more than, than alone. Mm -hmm.